Hello brothers and sisters, I had to re-upload this video because the first portion ended up getting deleted. Um, but I just wanted to kind of get on and talk to y'all a little bit about a dream I had last night. I also asked God what it was that he wanted me to teach the people this morning and I opened up to Daniel chapter 2. So this is dealing with Nebuchadnezzar's dream. I'm not going to read the full uh, context of this Bible story, but I will kind of highlight the important points and then read some of the verses. But a little bit about my dream. So yesterday there was an individual that came um, to my home and they were only supposed to come and pick up a couple of items and that was that and I let them know, hey, this is still over here, you can come pick it up, etc. So they said, okay. They ended up coming, came to get the stuff, that was done, locked the door, right? They're, they're supposed to be gone. And then maybe about a minute later, I get a knock on the door and they're asking, hey, can I use the restroom? And instantly I'm thinking to myself, I really don't want this person in my home, but I also don't want to be rude, right? So I went ahead and told them, hey, that's fine, but that's all. Just use the restroom and then that's it. So they used the restroom and then they were out the door. Now, me and this person are not really on speaking terms. We haven't been really seeing eye to eye on a lot of different things. Um, we're just on two different paths, right? And it is just best to keep certain people at at a range rather <laughs> so you can maintain your peace and that's this situation with me so I ended up um, going to bed that night you know and I had a dream so this person came in my home they went to the bathroom uh, because when they came you know they wanted to use the restroom but in the dream they wanted to take a shower so they just came in took a shower I mean they completely disregarded me didn't even care nothing about me. They were in the bathroom. It's like they were talking to themselves. I have no idea what was going on in there. <laughs> um, but all of a sudden, I come back into the living room, and I see these animals start to come into my home. They're coming from the corner uh, of the wall by the refrigerator, just out of nowhere. I think I saw a crab. I saw a dog. Um, I just saw just little critters and, you know, different things just crawling. And um, I remember just getting some spray, and, you know, it was just crazy. And I remember... Uh, jumping up on something trying to get uh, away from these uh, animals and um in past dreams that I've had where there was animals in my dreams I've, I've been bit by a dog and you know it's just been other crazy things that have happened when I see uh, animals I instantly know there's witchcraft involved and so for this particular individual after I woke up from that dream I was like God what does it mean what is going on I just felt like I needed to tell this person you can no longer come into my home anymore so I went ahead and I text them and I let them know, hey, um, you can no longer, uh, I, I basically said, can you please not come in here anymore? Um, we just need to keep it, you know, at a professional level, right? Um, and they text me back and they were like, okay, uh, sure. Well, thank you for letting me use your bathroom, et cetera, et cetera. And I just said, um, you're welcome. And just explained to them, hey, we need to just stay focused, right? So after that was over, um, you know, I woke up, told God, um, you know, everything pertaining to that dream and what I believed it meant. And when I have dreams about animals, it's usually connected to witchcraft. So I open up to Daniel chapter two, because that's where God wanted me to uh, go. Um, now we know with Nebuchadnezzar that he had a dream. He couldn't understand the dream. He didn't know the interpretation. So he saw it his astrologers, um, it says here, Daniel chapter 2, he sought his magicians, astrologers, and sorcerers for the interpretation of the dream. But they did not know the interpretation of the dream. They needed him to tell him, tell them the dream first, and then they would do their best to give that interpretation. Well, Nebuchadnezzar didn't want to do that. He wanted them to tell, tell him the dream he had and then give the interpretation of the dream he had without him revealing anything. So they couldn't do it. So he put out an order to kill all of the, uh, let me make sure I'm getting this right. One second, y'all. I think he sent out an order to kill all of them. Uh, yes, and all of them included Daniel and Meshach, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So Daniel finds out about this and he's like, hey, what's, what's this urgency? Why is you know King Nebuchadnezzar trying to kill all of us? <laughs> and so um, I think one of the guards, one of the captains told him, uh, what had happened and Daniel was like okay hey hold on L let me seek my God but I need time so he went to God God gave him the interpretation and so now Daniel's ready to go before King Nebuchadnezzar 
He gives them the, the interpretation. Uh, Nebuchadnezzar is pleased. He recognized God as the God of gods, et cetera, et cetera. And Daniel is promoted. So this confirms to us that God speaks to us in dreams and we must pay attention to those dreams. For me, I believe it was a warning dream. Um, because this time they didn't come to just use the restroom. They actually came to now take a shower. So they were going to take it a step further. They were going to see, well, if she lets me come in for a, to use the bathroom. Let me see if she'll let me come in for this and then this and then this. And oftentimes as believers, we are so kind. We really don't want to be mean to anybody, but they may have ulterior motives. They may have the wrong intentions for us. We can't just let anybody in our space. You know, this is our haven. This is where we connect with God. This is where we pray. This is where we uh, find our balance and our peace, you know. So if somebody comes into your home and now all of a sudden everything's out of balance, everything's out of whack, right? It's, it, it's discombobulated in a way. <laughs> you have to get those people out of your life, okay? Many of them are like Aiken. They have sin in the camp and it's going to cause issues for everybody, right? You haven't done anything, but you don't know what they're doing. And so for God to reveal to me all those animals and just different things and they're coming in, you know, so many of them, I was like, oh no, you cannot come back in here. You know, I'm so sorry, but you can't come in here, you know? And so I had to let that be known. Um, so please y'all pay attention to your dreams, pay attention to the people that you are allowing in your space. This is so important. This walk is, it, it's crucial to be wise, you know, and the Bible says, if you don't have wisdom and understanding, pray for it and God will give you it. Pray for discernment, pray for God to close doors, reveal people to you. Don't be afraid to know the truth about a person's heart and their intentions for you. Yes, it may hurt in the beginning, but it's better to know than not know. And it'll save you a lot of heartache and pain in the future. Always pray before you do anything. Pray about your dreams. Don't run to the Google. Don't run to uh, a sister or brother in Christ. Run to God first, just like Daniel did. He went to God first and foremost for that interpretation. And so for me, I believe it was a warning. Don't let this person back in. And so I had to close that door. So I pray this uh, message bless y'all today. And if you want to know the full story of Nebuchadnezzar, it's chapter two. That's the one God led me to, but it's so long, y'all. And my phone, um, the storage ran out. So I know I can't read all of chapter two. The phone will completely just, you know, run out of storage. <laughs> so y'all have a blessed rest of the Tuesday, of Tuesday and I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye-bye.